Hi guys, this is Teddy and welcome back to Slaycraft. This is episode 12. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Now, apologies for the lateness on this episode. I took a couple of weeks off for a vacation and I've just got back. So I'm excited to get back into things. And today we're going to start off by building ourselves a wool farm. Now, you're probably thinking, Teddy, you're, you're halfway through building this thing. Yeah, I am. But I want to finish this on stream rather than finishing it on video. So we'll do that. And if you guys want to keep up with streams, don't forget to head over to twitch.tv forward slash Gaming over there. And you will catch my streams over that way. And if you really like speedruns, guys, just a heads up. I do speedruns over there as well. So keep up with that. Anyway, let's crack on and get some stuff together. And I'll get see you guys when I've got my stuff together. Alrighty guys, it's taken me a little bit of time, but as I'm sure you can hear, I have got myself a few sheep together already. Now, I need to put these guys in a actual pen, so let's go ahead and make ourselves an actual pen really quickly. Because we need a total of 16 sheep for this farm, one of every colour. Uh, we've already got two, so we've got a start going already, which is kind of cool. And then I need to go find some wheat and get to breeding these guys. So let's go find some wheat from our storage over at our farming district. Or our farm area. That's a nice landing. Beautiful. Wheat, please, mate. Lovely chubbly. Let me out. Thank you very much. Ow. I meant to do that. It's fine. Everything's fine. I didn't hurt myself. You did. And let's get to breeding these guys up while we start building. Now, I have built this on a tutorial, guys. So I'm probably not going to show you everything when it comes to this farm. But I am going to show you bits and bobs. So, yeah, check out the tutorial. Link's in the top right corner right about now. And I'll come back to you guys when I've got a farm or at least some more sheep together. Alrighty guys, this is post-production Teddy. This is me forgetting to do the audio for this clip because I had it muted to do something else and I forgot to put it back on again. So as you can see, I have finished the sheep farm already. Time has passed and all that good stuff. And we have a fully operational sheep farm. And then I get into talking about clearing a little bit of an area over there as well in between clips and start talking about what we are going to do. We're going to expand our build out a little bit further than that. And then we are going to be building our building around our sheep farm. And I am going to be doing that in the form of a time lapse. So I hope you guys sit back, enjoy the time lapse, and I'll see you guys on the other side of it.
Alrighty guys, as you can see the build is near enough finished. I have however run out of materials Last few concrete blocks are in fact missing So we're gonna have to go do a bit of resource gathering and um, you'll notice I have done this build in a slightly different style I do think it looks rather good though now it might become clear later while well, I've done a different style, but it's a bit different and I like it. So it might be uh, moving throughout the builds as well, that design. I might do some of the other newer builds with that sort of design, because I like that design a lot with the green extra going into it. So yeah, it also gives me excuses when it pickles up, which is even better. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I am going to do a little bit of a stream. I am going to head over, do a load of resource gathering. And I am going to get myself ready to build some friends because we are kind of lacking friends. We're missing our flower and our pickle down below. We're missing our melon and pumpkin on top of our villager trading hall and missing our villager also. We haven't got anything on our farming district. Haven't got anything up here, but I don't really know what to put up here at this point in time. So we're not going to bother with that yet. And of course, we need some sheep pixel art to go on top of our wool farm which might end up being a rainbow sheep. I don't know yet. We'll see how we get on. But anyway, for now, I'm going to head off. I'm going to do a bit of resource gathering, and I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys. A bit of time has now passed, and I have been doing quite a bit of resource gathering. Now, I've been out, got mushrooms. I've got myself some more dripstone. I've got myself many varieties of color, of concrete, and of terracotta as well. And I'm pretty much ready to start building. I haven't put the grey in as yet. I may come back to that later on. I don't know. And I might need some regular terracotta, although I haven't been to get terracotta yet. We have got a load of gravel and a load more sand. So I think where we're going to start, I'll grab that one as well. I think where we're going to start is we are going to start over here and we're going to get our little flowery friend in. And guys, if you want to name any of these dudes, then drop a comment down below with which one you want to name and the name of said pixel art, and we'll get your names up on the wall. So yeah, let's crack on, and I'll get this fellow uh, built. Okay, as you guys can see, we have got our first friend in place, and he looks relatively familiar, although he's not exactly like the other one. He's not quite as deep for a start, but he's looking pretty good, guys. I do like how this one's coming out, considering I did just wing it. I didn't use any guide or anything like that for this thing, so it looks pretty good. Now, next one we're going to do is we're going to start on our pickle, and I may not bother showing off between all of these, because I need to do quite a few of these, so I might actually just do a stream where we build a few of these up. So we're going to do the pickle next, and then we might try and do the sheep, I think, next after that, because that's another easy one to do. The village, the village, the villager. Hmm. That's not going to be easy to do, guys. That's really not going to be easy at all. But we'll try and get the villager in at some point today, and we'll try and get in the guys over there, our potato, our beetroot, and our carrot. And our wheat, we got to figure out how to do wheat as well, guys. That might be a second chia plant with a wheat top instead of a sugarcane top. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. But in the meantime, actually, it might just be bread. To be fair, we could just do bread. But either way, I am going to cut away. I'm going to get some more of these guys done. And I'll come back to you guys. And hopefully, you guys will have some names for me. But obviously, we won't be able to name it until next, ep next episode. So... Yeah, let me cut away. I'll get these guys finished off, and I will come back to you guys. Alrighty, guys. I have been rather busy. I have a new sheepy friend up here. I have got, obviously, these two friends here we knew about already. And we've also got another friend or two over here. We've got our little carry friend in a pot. And we've got our stalagmite friend, which... I'm not gonna lie, it, it before I put the face on it, it looked like a pile of poop. I'm not gonna lie, it did. It it looked silly, but that was the idea of it looking silly. Like the carrot friend behind me here, which I it looked like a beetroot at one point, but orange. 
So I'm pretty sure I know how to do the big route now. But yeah, I thought the carrot in the pot idea was going to be easier than trying to make a carrot standing up by itself. And it, it, it turns out, yeah, it, it is. And the, the carrot's kind of funny, just saying. Um, the sheep is not quite there. It is missing a little bit on the top. As you see the hole in the head, because we ran out of wool. Which is why I've actually stopped what I was doing, because we have run out of materials. And what I'm going to quickly do is sleep the night away, and I'll show you what else I've been getting up to. And if we look down below here, you can see I've been clearing out some trees, because we are going to be putting a build in this area here. And I need to just fill in odd gaps here and there like this. And then just terraform around this area. Generally bring in across this. And making it kind of connect in over there. And then filling in the gap. So that's basically what we're going to do next. And yeah, we'll just cut that water back a little bit further than that as well. Go away. Something along those lines there. And yeah, we're getting there. We are looking pretty good for what we're after. So yeah, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to get that bit all filled out. Get this next build lined up. And then I'm actually going to need some ideas. What should I put in some of these builds, guys? I have ideas for what I want to put in some of the builds. But this one wasn't in the plan. But I decided I need to build, put the build in place. And the one I have measured up over here, which is next to something else I've been doing, which I'll get to in a second. But there's another build lined up here, which I'm going to put in. But I have no idea again what I'm going to put in the build. Because I haven't got that far yet. But yes, this is the other thing I was doing as well as building our friends. I decided to decorate this area while I was waiting for more wool to spawn in because we, yeah, we need more wool. And I've got most of this done. I I, I, I put a random painting here, courtesy of uh, Mumsy, one of my servant mates. She was being a bit of a troll, so I decided to trigger her a bit by putting one of the benches around the wrong way deliberately and then putting a painting on the back of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm like that. But it's funny, and that's why we did it, because it's all in good fun. So, it's cool. But I really like this fountain thing I put in place here. This is just walls that are waterlogged with uh, the water coming down onto a bit of sea lanterns, which this is a waterlogged slabs as well. So, it looks really quite cool. It looks different, and I like it, which is why I've done it, which is cool. I've also obviously put the path in place all the way around this build, and I've started putting the path in place in the front of this build here. And I don't think I showed you this, but we've got a little bench just out the front here now as well, which wasn't there before. We had a bush, and I was like, yeah, the bench looks better. So we've got the bench. Anyway, yes, I'm going to cut away. I am going to get this area finished off, get this build lined up, and I'll await your comments. Many, many comments in the next episode, guys. Many, many comments need to be addressed. And yeah, so I'll cut away, and I'll come back to you guys. Alrighty, so time has passed, terraforming has been done, and I'm ready to start building the next builds. Now, I also decided to come over here, and I've done a bit of terraforming over here as well, so we've got this area prepped up, ready for us to get that bridge we were talking about before in, because we haven't done that yet still. Um, but this area, I'm thinking I might cut this lake back a bit further. So we've got a better walkway that comes through over here and then we're basically going to extend the jungle so it crosses over the lake over the river um and have the jungle on this side as well or we could actually pull the lake back a bit further and possibly even connect it to the river because it's, it's a possibility it is a possibility i'm not sure yet we'll figure it out but anyway Tough stuff been done and resources need to be gathered so i will do a time lapse of me going to the mesa and gathering many, many resources.
with that guys many many terracotta has been gathered we got ourselves a grand total of two shulker boxes full of terracotta we also went and got ourselves a shulker of sand and a shulker of gravel because concrete supplies although we have a lot we are going to run out with all these extra builds we're doing so the next thing i need to do guys is get myself a load more dyes we are currently running a bit short on dyes and i'm still missing a little bit of wool for our sheep so let's go see if we've got any dark blue wool in the chests at the moment we may have we may not we will find out we got six nine nice and that's it also you'll notice i've currently got a, a a resource pack on that changes the texture of grass and a few other things like the bricks um let me know what you think down below i know you may not see a lot of changes just simple stuff like i've got a smaller toast from i've got smaller rockets i've got smaller food it's just simple little bits and bobs like that just to make the game a little bit more playable um in terms of not having so much stuff in my visual cortex while i'm playing it's kind of useful to have that um, I will need to put carpets down on here as well, but for now we're going to throw some torches because we don't want any creepers blowing our sheepy friend up, do we? So we'll throw some torches down on here for now. Just to save the embarrassment of getting blown up by a creeper. And while I wait for this lot to happen, I will end the episode there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you really loved it, hit subscribe. And don't forget, guys, drop me comments down below with your thoughts on everything we discussed today. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.